how physical the game is at this level? Yeah, I mean, uh, personally, I don't think so. It's been, I don't think it's been too much of an adjustment. I think in high school, I played with, played with, and played against a lot of big guys. Obviously, there's a little bit of adjustment. I think just getting in the weight room and continuing to get stronger, um, putting on more weight, um, is obviously going to help more and more with that. But not too crazy of an adjustment. Coming in uh, to the university and being able to work with team nutritionists and stuff uh, and trainers, how has your diet or maybe workout routine changed uh, since you've gotten here? Um, yeah, just probably more on the side of like um, lifting and stuff like that. Just lifting like before and after practice um, with Sandman and putting little extra reps in um, after just to work on certain things um, to get stronger. And I think like just having a main focus on focusing on your body and getting stronger probably that's been the biggest thing. As well as like getting meals after practice um, with training table, makes you get your protein in and, and all that stuff. But, yeah. Ask Frankie who the biggest character among the freshmen is and didn't hesitate. He said, Luke, so mm -hmm. would you agree with that? Yeah, well, yeah. what yeah. What is it about him that? Um, I don't know, he just, he just different. Um, uh, it's, I feel like it's, I don't know, because I live with him, so like you gotta, <laughs> you got, I feel like you gotta see the person, but like, Obviously, he's a good dude. He, um, he just he just funny, like. But people are funny, and then there's him. You know what I mean? Like, it's a different. It's a different. It's just. It's hard to explain. You know what I mean? Does he realize he's being funny, or just? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, no. I think, I think like he just being himself. You know what I mean? So he just he just doing his own thing, being himself, and it just so happens that we all think it's funny. What did you think out of the World Cup experience this summer? What, what, how did that hold you? Do you think? Um, yeah, I think it put me in a different. I was in a different position than I was in high school. I think um, being a lot more on the ball than I was in high school. So I think that was really good for me, just being able to show um, like different facets of my game um, that can play on and off the ball. As well as I think it showed me that there's a lot of good players all around the world. Uh, we played against a lot of a lot of really good players. Um, so yeah, it was it was real good. It was a lot of fun over there played with and against a lot of talented guys. Is there someone in particular that has left the biggest impact on you? Um, like in terms of like high school or like? High school, whatever, any experience you've had. Um, I wouldn't say in particular, but I think um, like the Montverde team with like Cade and Scotty and all those guys, Dayron Moses, I think that just being on a team like that with that many good people in practice, that's probably like I think that's one of the things that helped me the most in terms of knowing what I need to do um, just to get better, um, learning from those guys. Obviously, and going against them every day, obviously, I think made me better. And I'm still continuing to learn from things that I learned back then. So that's probably that's probably had the biggest impact. Do you, so. still, do you still stay in touch with Cade? He's obviously not too far away now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I hit him up when he got drafted. Um, so yeah, I hit him up um, back then. So we in touch a little bit, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You mentioned the Clay Thompson uh, nickname, but is there anybody that you uh, that you really study or you feel like could be kind of a template for for your game? Um, not like one person in particular, but I look at a lot of guys. Clay Thompson being one of them, mm -hmm. um, Chris Middleton, Jason Tatum. Those are like the three. I just try to take little things from um, each of their games and just try to watch a lot of film on them, see what I can add to my game to make it better. Where did you learn to shoot? Did it always come naturally for you, or was there somebody who who taught you? Um, I think. When I was younger, I used to work out with um, the point guard on my AU team, and he was a really good shooter. So I think it just really came from that. Um, it's getting a lot of reps up um, and stuff like that from a, from a young age, yeah. Who was that? Josh Bosco. Uh, he plays at um, uh, Bucknell now. He's a freshman at Bucknell. Do you remember about coming to camp here? What, how old were you? What year was that? I'm not sure. I can't remember. My dad would probably know, but. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. I just remember, like the, I, I just remember like the facilities and stuff like that. Like, um, other than that, I remember it was a lot of fun, um, stuff like that. But it was a while ago. Yeah. You play a lot of different roles between like high school, like World Cup, like you said. Mm -hmm. Does that make it easier to transition to maybe your, a new role in college? And how does that kind of ease the transition? Yeah, I think for sure, just being in different positions, playing with a lot of different people, it definitely. I think it makes me more versatile in terms of I can play with a lot of people, play in a lot of different systems, with a lot of different roles. So yeah, for sure, for sure. Sorry if you already asked this, but I guess besides the shooting, mm -hmm. how, how are you adapting for the other parts of, of the college game? Mm -hmm. 
defense, obviously, you know, a lot of it is expected in, in other elements. Yeah, I think just, just learning the concepts um, of obviously uh, our team's defense and stuff like that, I think it was, it took me a little bit in the beginning, but now just getting more and more comfortable with it, knowing where I should be, um, certain things, uh, where I should be uh, both on offense and defense. But I think just watching film and going over practices with the coaches and stuff like that, um, it's getting a lot easier. I'm definitely getting a lot more familiar with it than I was at the beginning. <laughs> Okay, we're good.